this is my review of the on wireless keyboard this one has a number pad I just want to share my opinion on it to tell you what I like about it and what I dislike and just for your information the model number is on the back over here as you see it's the 10009054 so this keyboard by the way came with a wireless mouse I won't talk about it in this video but um, just so you know you can have a wireless mouse as well if you get one of these um, one thing I liked about this keyboard well the first thing is that it's easy to use the keys are very spaced out I mean not very but the space is big enough so you don't mistype you know another key when you're pressing the one that you want so that's a good point sometimes keyboards especially wireless keyboards are very small everything is very cramped well on this one no everything is spaced out and on top of that you get this number pad which is rare these days so if uh, you like to make some calculations or uh, you like to use Excel spreadsheets definitely this will be very very useful to have a direct uh, direct buttons to your numbers and different operations here another point that I liked is it was quite easy to set up you see these keyboards are not Bluetooth but over here if we check we simply have a on and off button easy enough and a connect button they came with a USB dongle like this one so you connect it to your computer you turn it on you press the connect button and you're good to go you won't have to do this every time you use it you just need to do it the first time and it stays connected without any issue and this keyboard works with um, Windows computers Mac computers and Chromebook but be aware that if you try to use it with a Mac computer these buttons won't do this um, exact thing since a Mac over here you have the shift button here you have an FN button this one is the control button and you have option and command but here it's only out it's you know it's not perfect for a Mac computer but if you have a PC this is great a Chromebook as well I think it will do a quite good job now what are the things that I disliked a bit about this uh, keyboard well first of all is the quality of the typing so obviously I don't want to set your expectation too high this is a cheap keyboard I think it can be had for less than 20 bucks with a mouse so don't expect something like a hundred dollars keyboard the keys are mushy okay no one will buy this keyboard for the feeling it's not bad okay it's not extremely bad but definitely it feels like a cheap keyboard especially the plastic as well and one thing I notice here the space bar I don't know if you see but it, when you press it sometimes it looks like it bends since it's just a big piece of plastic I mean it works okay don't get me wrong everything works as it should it's just when you touch it yeah it definitely feels mushy like it's definitely not a mechanical keyboard by any means but even for a membrane keyboard I would say this is on the low end therefore you should expect an experience that matches the price another thing that uh, I wish this keyboard had is Bluetooth I know that it came with this small dongle by the way you just need one dongle for the keyboard and the mouse but anyway we're in 2024 maybe you 2025 when you look at this video watch this video I think any keyboard should have Bluetooth and we don't have to rely on this USB um, dongle and by the way this is a USB type A some newer computers only have USB type C therefore you will need an adapter if your computer does not have a USB type A USB port so that's another thing to keep in mind here since this is a cheap keyboard if you start buying adapters it's not cheap anymore otherwise will I recommend this keyboard well definitely yes if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend more than 20 bucks this is not a bad one I don't know how much uh, it will last and uh, one thing with cheaper keyboards is the fact that the ink I mean the stickers on each uh, buttons here uh, once you rub them a few times they go away I don't know how much how, how long this will last but 
just by looking at it, I think it will be quite okay. So if you're on budget, get this one. If you have a bit more to spend, maybe for $30, $40 for a good keyboard, definitely there's better options. One of them is this one that I have here. I have used actually this one a lot more. It's uh, a Logitech keyboard. I'll put a link in the description towards Amazon if you want to get one of these. But uh, the prices are similar. Actually, this one is a bit more expensive, to be honest. But um, this one has Bluetooth. You can connect up to three devices. This one is just one device. And just a tactical feel. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me get closer. Compared to... Yeah, this one definitely feels more high-end, although the price is close to it. And if you don't need the number pad, this is a lot smaller. Look at this. So in a way, I don't want this to steal the show. I prefer this one definitely, or I prefer this keyboard rather than this on keyboard. This is more a regular classic type of keyboard. I know these were out. This kind of layout was uh, out 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So if you're more like a, a conservative person, this is not a bad choice. If you have one of these and you want to share any opinion, please leave a comment down below or just leave a comment to tell hi, say hi. I'll be uh, very happy to read it. Uh, as I said, I'll put a link in the description for this one. This one I think is only available to Walmart. So that's where you need to go to get one. And I will see you in the next video.